Ooh, that's rough. Hey guys, it's Gianna, and today's gonna be a little bit different of a video. Long story short, I am getting an endoscopy and colonoscopy tomorrow. And if you don't know what that is, it's when you get your insides looked at with a little camera that's on a tube. The endoscopy goes down your throat and the colonoscopy goes up your rear. Why I'm getting this? Because I have Crohn's disease. And again, if you don't know what that is, it's an inflammatory disease of the bowel. We got little ulcers all up in your intestines. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. This is a disease, uh, it's associated with inflammatory bowel syndrome. It affects a lot of people. And I was diagnosed when I was in fourth grade, so when I was 10. It's been rough, but it's been a good journey. So they're just checking up to see what's going on in there. I know when I was little, I didn't really know what a lot of this was, like the terms and stuff. So I'm making this video to maybe reach out to my fellow inflammatory bowel disease friends out there. I'm going to be showing you how to prep for an endoscopy and a colonoscopy. I'm literally reading the instructions right off the paper. This is my third or fourth procedure, but this is the first time doing it without the help of my parents. At 2 p.m., mix the bottle of Miralax with a 64 ounce of Gatorade. It doesn't have to be Gatorade, it can be any sports drink. So you mix this with 64 ounces of your choice drink, and it can't be red. You can't have milk, juices with pulp, large amounts of cranberry juice or like red Kool-Aid, Powerade. Because basically when they check your insides, they're checking for blood or ulcers, and that can be mistaken for blood. So 64 ounces, which is two of these. Now we have to mix the Miralax, which is a fun laxative. <laughs> if you have IBD, you know that. We are very comfortable talking about toilet business. <laughs> and if you're uncomfortable with that, I suggest you click out of this video right now. Now, easiest way, take an empty big container of whatever. This holds 64 ounces, perfect. Put this in and then the 64 ounces or this and then that. Laxative powder. The prepping is the worst part of this whole procedure. Because you have to prep the day before and then you get the procedure. But they put you to sleep and you have the option of getting put to sleep. I don't know why anyone would stay awake because it's just, I don't know. Now we're gonna mix the Powerade with the Miralax. We're just gonna get it all in. Like a bartender. Hey, you got Crohn's? Colitis? Anything? Getting a colonoscopy tomorrow? I got you. Johnny Cash, how do you feel about this? Oh! It is almost two, but I'm just gonna get started. So it's time! It says to drink one cup every 15 to 20 minutes, but what I like to do is chug. Johnny Cash, we gon' chug. Okay, ready? It's so weird, like, it tastes like Powerade, but it's like, hmm, is it Powerade or is there something in there? You better not be pissing on a rug! I'm using my dog for motivation. Nope, not for you unless you want to I'm gonna go watch White Chicks. I've never seen it. Okay. Be back for a nice update. Hi. First meal of the day! Some yummy gourmet broth. I finished half of the 64 ounces. So 32 ounces. Mad! Second meal of the day. Italian ice. About three quarters of the way done with this. And I'm starting to hate the taste. And I'm like, Ugh. this is torture. Digging the Italian ice though. Really yummy. 
So I totally didn't finish filming the rest of <laughs> the prep video because I was feeling really groggy and the prep was just getting to me. But I finished my prep. Um, I went to bed. I woke up the next morning and went to Boston Children's Hospital for my procedure. They're amazing there. The doctors are absolutely wonderful. They always calm me down because I'm really nervous before it. I don't know why I get nervous before it. And all was well inside my colon. <laughs> I just had two little trouble areas. They were just like two little red spots. My doctor said I was probably having a mini flare from like the stress of finals from school and whatnot, but they'll go away. Uh, I'm really glad everything's clear. But thank you for watching this video. I'm really hoping that I can reach out to an audience of people that have IBD and Crohn's, colitis, all that fun stuff. Because I know when I was younger, I wish I knew someone else going through it because it's really scary and hard sometimes. So I just want to be there for people that are going through it because you're not alone. I'm doing it too. If you know someone with IBD, share this video with them. Spread the word. Um, I don't want like to get pity out of this or anything. I'm not trying to like make people feel bad for me. I really just want to share my experiences with other people and maybe help people in the long run or something. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to the Wow. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.